questions for the webinar. For those who are here, um, if you wanna pop your name into the chat and say where you're from, we have people from all over the country. So feel free to introduce yourselves and let's, let's see who's here. Irene is here from Mission DC. Brian from Burnaby. Vic from Coquitlam, Lee from Princeton, another one from Burnaby. Neighbors, love to see them. Awesome, so mostly the people here from BC so far. Lots of people typing, it's so great to see. I'll start introducing myself and you've already seen Raman in the chat. Uh, he'll be here to help answer any questions as we go. Hopefully we can work out the sound issue there for you, Mike. Um, maybe it's some settings on your computer. Um, so thanks everyone for coming to today's webinar. I see a lot of familiar faces in the registration list here, but for those I haven't met yet, my name is Roxanne and I'm the lead designer here at Realty Ninja. I am joined by our co-founder, Raman, in the chat, who was the original designer of Realty Ninja and Base 10 before Realty Ninja was created. So um, although I've been making awesome real estate websites since 2014, today I will be showing you that you don't need to be a designer or really have any design knowledge in order to make a beautiful website. So Realty Ninja has always been built with those who wouldn't consider themselves tech savvy in mind. And our Katana platform makes all of what I'm about to show you easy to do. And honestly, just great to look at. So by default, a new Realty Ninja site looks really clean and beautiful. And I'll start showing you what that looks like right now. So here you should be able to see my screen. I'm showing you a clean default. This is just the standard real estate Katana website. But I'm here to show you that with just a few settings and pictures changed, you can have a more personalized home on the, on the internet in, other, in under 30 minutes. So we're gonna, not gonna take too long here. And this is what we're gonna come up with at the end. So you can see it looks pretty different. And really all we've done is change some settings and change some pictures. So at the end of my demonstration, we will be answering your questions, but feel free to pop them in the chat as they come to mind. So might as well just get started. So this, as I mentioned, this is what we're gonna be making today. To me, a really valuable personalized site is going to have a home page that feels different from others in the market and a couple of updated pages for people to feel like I've put the time and effort into how I wanna present myself. So I'm also gonna be showing you how to do a really quick about page and a sellers page. Our sites also already come with a number of default pages set up. So the rest outside of those should just be ready to go automatically. But when you sign up, don't forget to take advantage of our free setup service, which is located under the welcome tab here when you're logged in. So today we're gonna to be starting on this view. This is the edit my website view where most of the magic is going to happen. Um, I'm also gonna be starting with a couple of files already saved. 
Um, I already have a basic logo that I whip together using a free online service. You might already have one professionally made, or if you don't, you can use a service like Canva, for example, if you want a little extra uniqueness on your site. I also have saved a few, page, uh, a few pictures beforehand that I came across on free stock photo sites like unsplash.com is a great one. So I've saved a few. I don't know what I'm going to use exactly, but I like to look up all of them. So I just save them just in case. So like I mentioned, just out of the box, this is what your real Ninja site is going to look like. You can see we have a few buttons here for managing pages, editing this page, and more particularly our page layout and widgets. So because the first view of your site is going to make the most impact on whoever is visiting your site, um, let's gonna, we're going to start here. So I know that I think I need a little bit more impact. I want this picture to come up all the way to the top so that it fills the whole page. Um, to do that, it's going to be under a different setting than I've already mentioned. We're going to go into the site-wide settings, and that's up here in the top right corner. There's a few things under our theme settings. And you can see that we do explain a few things here. In particular, I'm going to change this brand and menu possession. So it says it affects all tall headers. And that's what we're looking at on our home page. So it says overlapped makes the brand and menu show up over top the slider photo on tall headers and separated makes them independent. So as we can see right now, this is independent from the picture. We're going to change this. So we're going to make that overlapped instead so that it's going to show up over top the photo. I'm just going to change that. That's all I'm going to change right now. So as you can see, the picture is where I want it to be, but I need to change the color of that, where my name is and where the navigation is, because you can't see that at all. So we're going to do that. And I want to change this picture too, because this isn't really, this isn't me. So we're going to do that in the page layout and widget settings. Header tall is again that part that we're going to be changing. So we're going to check out the settings for that. And so you can see here that a few settings here have come up. The first thing is the photo. So I might as well just do that now. I'm going to delete this picture. I don't need it. I'm going to upload a new picture. So these are all the pictures that I have saved here. I like to few of them. I think. I think I want to start with maybe this nice outdoor picture because that's where I'd like to be right now, to be honest, but too cold. So, oh, see, okay. So, at Realty Ninja, we have a thing set into our settings so that if a picture is too big, if it's going to take forever to load, we're just like, don't upload this. So, I'm actually going to choose a different picture. You can see that an error came up at the top and it said that picture was too big. So, okay, instead, how about we pick this one? This one is under five megabytes. So let's pick this nice bedroom. Oh, thanks, Raman. Yes, yeah, so uh, it came up with a, um, a picture editor. It, it shows all the pictures in a folder that I've selected. So there were quite a few pictures on my list. I saved about 10 and I was just kind of clicking through some. So as you can see, I've picked one now. This is kind of this bedroom picture that I've chosen. Uh, I'm happy with this picture for now. Let's see what it looks like. And I do also know that I need to change the text colors on the whole widget. So that's going to affect the navigation as well. So I'm going to make that happen. That's going to make it white. So it's going to invert the colors. I also see this setting called parallax effect on background image. And what that does is it kind of makes the whole site move over top of the picture. And that's a really cool and easy change to make. So I'm just going to turn that on. I'm going to see how that looks. I'm going to apply those changes. Save these changes, make sure that's all good. So I can see them done. The navigation is all white. The picture has changed. It looks pretty good. It's got those colors that I like. Um, I can read everything now, which is, you know, top notch. Um, so yeah, this is good. And there, there's the parallax. That's how that, that's what that means. Parallax is the way that it kind of makes the picture move or looks like it's moving. So, um, this looks good. It doesn't feel totally me yet. I think first up, I'm going to be changing this out to that little logo that I made myself. So again, I'm going to choose that file. I'm going to upload it. 
And in this editor, you can see that we have a few things to do here. So there's some settings come up the top for this picture in the editor. And then I can also change the size of it. It came out really big. So I'm just going to drag the size so that it fits this space a little bit better. In these settings, I'm also going to change so that there's a link. And what a lot of people like to do when they're visiting a site is click your logo in order to go back to the home page if they're somewhere else. So I'm going to make sure that I add that link to the home page. Really easy. All of your pages are linked in this drop down. So you don't have to go and copy anything or have to premeditate where that's going. So that's done. Um, logo is changed. I don't think I need to add anything else. So I'm going to save that. Um, something else that I know that is going to make a really big difference on the design of this is changing the font. And I know when I say that, you might be like, how am I going to do that? I don't see any settings for this. There's nothing in the back end. You're right. We have decided not to add in a specific chooser yet. But earlier this month, I did put in some font pairings that I, I selected myself onto our blog. So I'm going to head over there and I'm just going to copy one of those things that I did because I think they look good. And I'm sure one of them is going to be able to fit the way that I want this to look. So this here is the blog that I posted. Um, you don't have to read the whole thing. You can just scroll down to the bottom. And there's one in particular I think I want to use. That's this one. I think this one has a really nice heading. The heading looks good. I like the way that the body looks. I like how round it is. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to copy this. Select this whole code part. You don't need to understand any of it. Just copy it. Control seeing that and then I'm heading back to my site here. Now again, because this is a site wide setting, this is going to go in our settings tab in this top right part. And the way where it's going to go is in a custom code. So I know again, that sounds kind of daunting, but hold on. All you're going to do in this custom CSS styles part, you're just going to click in, control V, paste that in. So down to the bottom and just hit save. Let's go see how that goes. So look, as you can see, everything has changed. This is different. You can see how, you know, drop down. This has that nice rounded font. Everything is, it feels totally different already. So I'm happy with that. That's a really good change. So that's already quite a bit different. Um, I do think that there was another picture I might want to try instead. And it's really easy to try. So we're just going to go ahead and, and try out this other picture. Again, delete that, upload a new photo. And it's not going to show you my, my pictures list, apparently. But I'm uh, finding that one I wanted to use in particular. Uploading. You can see the preview there and saving all those. Okay, I'm happy with this. I feel like this looks really dramatic and moody, but it's still got that like personal cozy home touch that I'm going for. So that's that's what I want my business to put off, I think. I think I want it to be like, okay, this is cozy, you can trust me, com be comfortable, but also like I'm sophisticated, you know? So that, that's what I'm going for here. But now if I look at this, this kind of feels still really default. Again, easy to change. So we're going to go do that. I'm thinking because this picture is so dark, I need to break up because this is all light gray and it just feels really like it blends into the background too much. So something darker, maybe some color. Um, we can try out some things. So we're going to do that. We're editing this page, we're editing these widgets in particular. So we're just going to go ahead and set page layouts and um, settings here. So you can see the list of all the widgets that are on the page. That header tall was the one that we just edited. Underneath that, you saw how we have this quick MLS search, as well as a one column that we had some intro text in. So we're going to change those. All I want to do really is just change the background. So I think if we make this black, you can see how the color picker comes up here. You don't need to know what these numbers are. You can literally just pick what color here. I'm going to go for straight black. And let's see how that looks. 
yeah so i think this breaks up nicely i do feel like this light gray still is too default i think most light gray i would like to change this doesn't really feel like something i want to have on my site so if i go there if i go to the one column you can see how it has that light gray here already so i'm thinking maybe if i do like a nice warm neutral to kind of carry down that comfy feeling i think that would be really nice so again i'm not going to worry about like a specific color i'm just going to go for a nice warm tone here I don't want something too colored. I do want it to be a little bit more neutral and desaturated because I think if it's too too warm, like if I went for a really almost terracotta brown color, I think it's gonna be distracting. So I think a little bit more neutral is going to be the right way to go here. Let's see that. Again, you can see how easy it is to change these things. So if I don't like it, it can be really easy to change. Okay, that's almost there, but you can see how this text is not it. Can't really see it. I think also this is too light. So I was close. I do like how kind of desaturated it is. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to adjust that color. Maybe a little bit darker so it matches more with that brown up top. And I think because it's darker, I should also have the text white. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that invert text colors again. White changes, save. Yeah, that's better. Now you can see how this is still gray, but luckily I can change that in the editor. I'm going to go in and hit edit this page. So I'm changing this text specifically, and this is on the page itself. So I'm just going to select it, change the text color. Now it's white. There you go. Now that's easy to see. That looks better. I don't like that this is blue, um, but I think I do want to add in a green in other places. So I'm going to get that green first before I worry about changing this. I don't want it to be brown, so I'm just going to hang on to that until I get that green figured out. First, though, these pictures, I can change these again really easily. So I might as well do that. I think that if I change these, it's going to add in a little bit more personalization because again, these are all default, right? So this is on every single real like Realty Ninja site. And if you have other Realty Ninja agents in your market, you want to make sure that you're looking a little bit different from them, right? So might as well change these. You probably have pictures from listings, from headshots that you've taken. So feel free to use those. I'm just using stock photos myself. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to upload some more pictures. I have some great ones. I think I'm just going to upload a few here so I can just quickly change them out whenever I want to. So I've uploaded a picture of a bathroom. It's really nice, a really fancy bathroom. I want to show people that I'd like to work with, with houses that look like this. And it also has that kind of color scheme that I'm going for as well. I also uploaded Canadian. So there's a nice maple leaf. Thing that looks really nice, really seasonal. Might be able to use that somewhere. Um, what else do I have? Let's see. I have a picture of a house. It's kind of got that A-frame, A-line roof. So I'm sure I can use that somewhere. And I have a picture of working at a computer because that's what I do all day. So I might as well show that. Okay, so I'm going to change this get to know me picture first. And so I said I'm Canadian. So I'm gonna use this maple leaf picture. Change that right away. Love that. Featured properties. Okay, so I'm going to, I think we'll use the bathroom picture for that. Imagine taking a nice photographer into a, a listing like that would be awesome. MLS listing search. So we have an exterior of a house here. I uploaded one of this nice exterior. It's a little bit more, not so stock looking. So I think this is going to be a nice touch. Now notice that this one is a little bit taller. Um, I'm not going to go crop it. I'm not going to open up an image software. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to resize it. I'm going to make sure it's the right height and I'm going to be happy with that, honestly. So as long as it's 
making everything else look the same across this section, I don't think the width difference really makes a big difference. So I'm going to do that. I thought that I might want to change this one, but it's too bright. So I think that the nice tone of this get in touch picture that was here before is better. So I'm just going to keep that. And that's all. Now this part, since I'm already editing this page, um, I like this. I like the background, how it's already dark. I like the people behind there. I think that works fine. So I'm not gonna change this background, but what I feel about it is that I think it's a little bit too cramped. I think that it could use a little more space. So all I'm gonna do, normally I wouldn't suggest this because if you put in a space, it's going to stay there on every single screen. But in this situation, we can test it out. I'm just going to add in an enter. I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to have that. And I'm going to balance it out. It might be a little bit too much. We'll see. Again, we're not breaking anything. I think it might be too much space. I can change that again. There we go. So all I'm doing, this the space, right? So I'm pressing space above a title. So it's thinking that this is gonna be a title too. That's why it's so tall. But you see down here, the space isn't so big because it's just the regular body text. So if I just click here and I press the format and make it normal, it's going to put that to the, the body, the normal text. So it's changing the size there. I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna just test this out. Because remember, a lot of your customers are going to be seeing your site on mobile too. So an easy way to see how this looks and how, how everything looks is just by changing the size of your screen. See, I'm dragging the edge of my screen and it's adjusting. So you can see how things are moving. Now see, this did change because I, I changed the, the width of this, so I can figure that out later. But for now, on this size, it's okay. So this looks okay. I like how, how much space there is. I'm happy with that. So I'm looking at the rest of this page and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm not gonna write a blog. I don't have the time to do that. So let's just get rid of it. The rest of the page looks great without it. So I'm just gonna delete that widget. It's gone. I can bring it back if I decide later that I can hire someone to do it or, you know, five times on the weekends to write a blog post, I'll do that. Right now, when I'm launching my site, I'm just like, I want to get this out right now. So I am thinking there's a lot of white space there now without that there. Because you can kind of see in the background how there was a light gray background there. Um, I need something to break that up. So I'm just going to bring back that black because the black separated it really nicely. Invert the text colors. I do want this to be contact form. Apply changes. I didn't remember that I saved the blog or uh, that I deleted the blog. Delete, save. Okay, now we're good. All right, so we've got our featured properties. We've got our buying and selling a home calls to action. We've got these change out pictures. This is all looking pretty good. Um, and remember, I am spending a lot more time on this page because this is the most important page, to be honest. Like, this is what people are going to be looking at and thinking. Okay, I want to learn more. How do I get to see more? Who are you? Who am I dealing with? So I do generally tend to spend a lot more time on the home page. The rest of the pages are going to be pretty quick and easy. So now I mentioned a green. I haven't done the green. I think where I want the green to go is up here. So see, because I used that white logo because I knew I wanted that kind of darker full visual impact on the home page i still want to have that feeling on the other pages too i just don't know when i want a picture so why don't i bring in because this had kind of this green wall behind it right so i think it'd be really cool to have that kind of similar tone back here that way it's not so busy it's going to take really quick to, to load and it's still going to have a lot of visual color to it so we're going to go change that Again, this is a site-wide setting, so it's going to affect all of these on, on the whole site. We're going to go into these settings and then back to the theme tab where we changed the way that it was overlapped or separated. Underneath, 
where it says it affects all tall and short headers, there's a specific thing here where it says default short header widget options. And that's the one that you see in all the sub pages. So if you don't have a tall header widget, defaults on the home page. You can also use it at any other page. So if you wanted to make a landing page and it just had a big picture at the top with the logo and you wanted to have your navigation there, that's what you would use. So here, this is where we can change the color of it. I'm just gonna pick a nice dark green. Looks pretty good. Invert the colors. Um, I'm gonna keep the footer for now. That's fine. Okay, so I've changed that. We're gonna go check it out. Back to the bio. Yeah. It's not quite the green. I can always update it later. That's fine. I actually like better how this light gray works against the dark green. So I'm gonna keep that. But before I move into these pages, the last thing that I know I can change is gonna make a really big change to how this site feels is all these primary colors. So this, is, this affects the links, it affects on, on listing pages. I don't have listings on, on this right now. I have, actually I do have a sample. So you can see how the blue affects everything here, right? So this is your primary color. By default, we've set it to this kind of really light blue because a lot of people see that as a action color. So they say, okay, let's click this. It doesn't really work with my color scheme here though. So I want to change that. Again, I have some support documents here. So we're gonna go over to our support docs. We'll be able to post a link to this or you know, send this out where we need. But basically under support, um, under design, changing the colors on your Katana site. This again, is not quite as simple as the font because I had already picked out the, the which fonts to use. So this one you would want to do a little bit more copy pasting, but I have tried to comment out what it is that you're copy pasting. So we're gonna head back to those custom code settings. Underneath all this stuff you've already done, you can make sure it's there, don't touch it. Just go in and paste in this color. So this is telling it, I don't know if you saw, but when I was choosing black in the color picture, it had zeros as those numbers. So what it's telling you is that color, this is what it's called in the code. You don't need to know them, but as long as you can recognize that that's what it's saying, that's all you need to do here. Um, so this is what I've just pasted in. I do need to go back and grab that color from the other page. So I'm gonna save this. Make sure it stays there. Go back to theme where I chose that color. I'm just going to copy, copy that. I haven't done anything. I'm not saving. So I'm going back to the custom code and then I'm going to change these. So this, this is currently telling it to change all of that blue to black. That's what this is saying. I want that to be green. So I'm pasting in what it said that green was. So I'm just going to change all of these. I've just changed all of what it said were the zeros, which is black, to what it said the green was. Now, we also have a couple more at the end here, which weren't the zeros. They say three instead. What this is, this is a dark gray, and this is for when you hover over things. So it's really nice when you're interacting with, with calls to action and links and stuff that if there's a little bit of a change to it, you know that it's doing something. Like, you can see how when you hover over the katana themes, for example, it, it goes to a darker blue. So that makes me feel, okay, I this is gonna do something when I click it. And that's really good to know. I can keep this as a dark gray for now. I can go back and grab maybe that brown. If I'm gonna use the brown after. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. So that's all of the default stuff that really makes a big difference changed. So you see here, these have changed to um, the green because that's what we've just done. So all of the blue that was there is now green. Um, you can also see that here. You can see how these are green now too. That's awesome. So that's the, the full thing, that's the, your site, that's changed. Everything here is gonna be different now. So that makes it really easy to go in and update the content of your site. Content can be hard to do. Um, 
it does involve a lot of thinking if you want to say the right things and and put the right information. So um, let's start with the easy things that you do every day that you know the most about. So we're just going to really quickly go through the about page. We're going to set up a really quick bio and then we're going to do a sellers page and then we're going to get to your questions. So I'll show you really quick how to how to add in your your information, your bio. So a bio should have a picture. There's no picture here. Maybe a few pictures might be nice. I think I also want to add in some testimonials because it's also good to show what people think about me as well, not just me saying stuff about myself. So we can do that. Let's add that in. So this is right now one big thing. I don't want that to be one big thing. I want to have a picture and I want to have some text. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to change this. So this is the header short. That's the top. That's the green part. This one column you see underneath that, that's where it says bio. So I'm going to keep that. I might change what it says. I might not want to say bio. I can do that after. Um, but this one column I want to get rid of. I'm going to do that. And I don't think I want a quick contact. I think I want people to just be able to contact me right there. So I'm going to delete that too. And then I'm going to start dragging things in, adding things to the page. So to have a picture on the left and text on the right, I have some options. So I can do equal, which means that both of the columns are going to be the same width. I can do main side. So main is going to be the bigger part on the left side, a smaller part, and then opposite. So if you wanted a smaller part on the left, the main side, I would go for that one. But I want them to be pretty equal on this one. I will change my mind for the sellers page. I want some more dynamic movement there. So we're going to do two columns equal. And then I'm going to add in that form. That's right here. Now the form on the home page is black. So I think I'm going to use the same settings there. Black, invert colors, contact, good. Okay, so I have the parts on the page that I know I need. So I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna change this about me. And then I'm gonna add in my picture. I probably use a picture myself, but I don't have a good one. So I'm going to use this stock photo instead. And let's say I've already written a biography because I use it on, you know, let's say your, your brokerage site. You probably have one. So if you have one there, use the same one. You don't need to rewrite anything. Copy, paste, and save. So already that's pretty different. Um, I can add a little bit more. So. I was thinking, you know, maybe add in, could I have some more pictures? Have maybe four pictures and some testimonials. So again, you probably already have testimonials saved. Copy, paste them in. Hopefully you have documents saved from all of these. So I'm just gonna have those testimonials. That's a lot of white, might wanna, change the background, add some pictures to this section. You can see how easy it is for me to just pop these in, eh? This is what I haven't used. I don't want to use that, we're using that one. So check that out. Yeah, that's too much bite. So I could, if I wasn't just really quickly doing this, which this is gonna be you, you're not gonna go back and you know save, save a whole bunch of color codes and things like that. Just pick a green, just pick a nice color. And then I have to also make that text white. So and there you go. That could be a picture. That could be, you know, a different color. But I'm happy with this. This is a, a pretty decent page. You could have a lot of pictures. Let's see, you want to have a picture of your pet, of your family, of you with some clients. 
throw it on the page, show people who you are. So that's your about page. Now again, really quick. So that was six minutes. It took me six minutes to do this page. Pretty good, right? So again, really quick, I know we're getting close on the time, but let's do that sellers page really quick. This is what your, your site is gonna have by default. We do have a little picture. We have some default text. We have a, please provide more info about your home, for people to get a, a home evaluation from you and stuff. So all that stuff is really valuable. Um, I just, I do a little bit more that I think I want people to know about. So I'm going to make some changes here. I do wanna have an intro section. But then I also want to talk a little bit about what I do for people that maybe other people don't, or maybe, you know, if I work with more types of people, so I work with investors, not just first time home buyers, things like that. I want to show them that I'm there for them too. So I do like this sort of layout. I like that it's different. Um, but maybe just not like this. So I'm gonna go in, I'm going to have another one column for my introduction. So I'm gonna say, okay, this is what, you'll, what you're what you gonna get using me as a real estate agent. I'm gonna have that there. And then I think I'm gonna talk about like my digital marketing. So things like the social media that I do, um, how you're searchable in the MLS, my website presence, things like that. I also wanna show an example of some professional photography that I get done and maybe I do virtual tours or in open houses now. So um, let's talk about that. So because I have main side, I'm going to put the picture on the big part, text on the right. So I want that to be swapped. I want there to be some movement on the page. So I'm going to use the opposite of that. I'm going to use a side main. And I do have one more thing I want to talk about on this page, which is my general services. So residential, commercial, investments, things like that. So I'm just going to use one more main side, throw that over. And I'm, I already know from the, the about page that that form is going to be really, it's going to need some color. So I'm just going to go back and make that the same as everything else on the site that I've done so far. Black with the white text, keep that sellers, apply changes. So all of my stuff is there. I'm going to be able to go in and throw my content into. Okay, so you can see I'm selling your home. Here is a lot of space around this one default section we had before. So I'm just going to go in and start editing it. I'm going to keep this default text. I don't want to have to write my own introduction to the page. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to cut it. And that's Control X, Command X on Mac. And I'm just gonna paste it back in there. So that's gonna be my introduction. I'm gonna use a different picture than this one. So I'm gonna delete this. I'm actually gonna put the picture in this big one too. Let's see what I have here. So again, I've already uploaded a bunch of pictures. Let's see what else I can use. Because I have this one, when we're talking about digital marketing, right? So we're talking about website presence and social media and things like that. So I have a picture of a computer with a website on it. Um, put that in there. And if you have text, you can paste it in there. Or because you're seeing what you're going to be showing here and you know what you're going to be writing about, you can just type in. Like It's essentially the same formatting as you would use on a Word document. So you can um, make bullet lists. You can add in text. You can change colors of things. So because this is really quick, people don't need to have a ton of information about what I do, but as long as they get the idea, um, that's all I really need to have on this page. And because I'm writing it, it's in my own voice. So people already get to, to understand what I sound like, which is really important. Um, so. This is my little bullet list, just a, a point running home what this is important for. So that's my digital marketing section. Visual media. So I want to talk about, um, you know, photography, videography, those kinds of services here. So let's use the nice picture of a bathroom. I had text already saved for that. 
And then for this one underneath, um, I want to talk about the type of people that I work with. So residential, commercial, things like that. And let's show the next picture of a home. And again, have that saved already. Pop that in there. And that's the page. Now, I say, please provide more info about your home. This is yellow, so I know I can edit this. I've just said that I work with people who do investments and foreclosures and commercials. So I want to say property instead. I can change that title. So it's yellow. I can change it. I've changed it. Let's save it. And that's a seller's page. And who has the page that looks like that? It's all yours. It's great. So yeah, I took a little bit longer than 30 minutes, but hopefully that shows you that our editor is it's quite flexible. You can do a lot with it. Um, and we have lots of tools for the stuff that isn't included in the editor that we're more than happy to help you with. So I'd like to open the floor up now to whoever has some questions. I know we had some come in. So um, Raman, if you want to share what happened, anybody has any questions now, let's chat. Contained list versus fluid, great question. So the easiest way for me to show you is to take a look at something here. Okay, so you see this section, how everything kind of lines up on the left and right edges. Um, you can see that buying a home it all lines up with the left edge of this featured properties box. It lines up with this. So that means that it's in a container. Um, it, it, it's all contained to the same dimension. So everything looks right. You kind of know where your, your eyes are going on a page. But let's say that you wanted to use pictures or something and you wanted to break up the page a little bit better. So on the bio page, um, maybe these pictures, they should go to the ends of the page itself. They shouldn't be contained. That's what fluid would be good for. So if we go in and we change the setting to fluid versus contained, um, you're gonna see that that has changed dramatically. So there is still a little bit of a space you can see. So that's, that's something that's actually coded in so that um, it doesn't fully touch the edges. You can change that, that's called padding. You can remove it in the same setting. So let's say you wanted it to just be no no white space, all picture. You can remove the padding on the widget as well. So apply those changes and we'll see. So again, because I, I changed the dimensions of this picture, it's operating a little bit differently than the other ones, but you can see from, from the ones on the right here that that white space, the padding, that's all gone. Yeah. I'm just asking about fonts, using and uploading specific fonts. Um, that's a really good question. We get that asked a lot. And um, that's actually talked about in the blog post that I, I wrote earlier this month. There's a lot more to fonts, unfortunately, on the web than it might sound like it should be. Um, but basically, you have access to things like Google Fonts and Adobe Fonts on, on the internet. Um, licensing is very different. So what you have access to on things like your computer for Word documents and stuff might not be available on um, for use in the web. So depending on what your brand font is, that we can we can check that out for you. So if you have a specific font that you use, send us an email with what that name is and, and let us know and we can we can check it out for you. Rick asked, will your site look the same on your phone? So Katana is coded mobile first, which means that all of our code kind of, it's it's meant to work upwards. So it's operating on the belief that it's going to work from the smallest size. So usually your phone and then adjust smoothly to get as big as if you wanted to view it on a TV, on a 50 inch TV, it would just adjust and respond to that. So it's not gonna look the exact same. Um, you wouldn't want it to look the to look the exact same, it would work not not well. You wouldn't be able to touch these very easily. So what we've done is we've, we've actually made some changes to the code of the site so that it adjusts appropriately to the way it should act on a phone. You can see all, all that when you 
change the size of your browser, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to actually use a phone, but you can see how it looks while you're editing it. That's a really good question. I've seen um, as much as 56% of, of some people's viewers can be using a phone to see your site. So pretty important. I see someone is typing, so I will just wait for this next question. Can we make custom forms? We don't have the ability to make custom forms on our platform at this moment. We do have ones already built for the most important um, uses. So we have the contact form that you've seen. It's just name, email, phone number, and a message. Only name and email and message are um, required. So if they don't want to put their phone number in, you don't have to. It's a little bit less of a barrier for people to be contacting you that way. And then you also have a buyer's page. So for people who can, they know what they're looking for, they can tell you exactly on this form. And then there's also a seller's form. So those main three are available on your site. There are other things that you can use to make custom forms with and then embed it on your site. So for example, there's Wufu, wufu.com and Jot Forms. Those are pretty good free options that you can make custom forms on and then embed it onto your site and it'll work just fine. Um, we don't have a mobile view. So I know that um, if you've been looking at our customizations um, on our demo, we do have a switcher at the top to see what it would look like on a mobile. We don't have that on the editor because I think that would um, confuse things a little bit. Um, the idea is that if you put something on your site, it should just respond automatically. So um, it is good to check to see that to make sure, like for example, on that on that home page, when I change the size of the picture, it is changing as I change the view. So it's good to to check for sure. Um, but this is probably the easiest way to do it. You don't necessarily need a switcher to be able to do that. It's going to respond. Maybe we can take uh, questions for about two more minutes and then end at 11.50 PSG. Anybody have any more, any more questions I can show or answer for you at this moment? All right, if we're good, um, don't forget our customizations are still on sale 20% off until the end of tomorrow. So get your forms in if you're interested. Otherwise, um, we do have lots of help docs to go over what I've gone over today. Um, I believe this was recorded, so it should be sent out. If you have any questions, um, email me at info at realtyninja.com. Myself and the rest of the team will be able to help you out. And if you need um, assistance using our editor or finding out more, what, what, more, what more you can do with this whole platform that we have, let us know. We're happy to help. Thank you all so much for coming. It's great having this hour with you guys. Talk to you later.